In this video, I'm going to recreate something I've already created, and it's a game where you shoot balls at a target from a turret and try to hit the target. But also in this video, I'm going to explore some physics explosions and how they affect the game world. So for starters, create a plane, and I'm going to I'm going to jazz it up a little bit and reset the position and everything to zero zero. Set the main camera Z to negative five. And then let's create our player, create a sphere and call it player. And I'm going to jazz it and move it up one, up 0.5 and move it over three. How about that? Now let's make the plane 10 by 10 by 10. This value doesn't matter at all. I moved the player over to 4.5 actually. Now let's make a turret and but we're going to rot want to rotate this independently from the player sphere. And so I'll show you how to do that. Give it a scale of x and z.5 and then create an empty object. So this is going to be the cylinder anchor. Drag the cylinder into the cylinder anchor, <clears throat> but but we want to offset the cylinder from the anchor, so probably Y1. And that way, hopefully, as we rotate this, it rotates at the end of the cylinder, not in the middle of the cylinder. That's the idea, and that's working. Now, like I said, we want to rotate the cylinder and the player independently. So make an empty, and we're actually going to call this player anchor. And drag the player in there and the cylinder anchor in there. And then reset the player position. And then move the player anchor to 4.5 and 0.5. I adjusted the cylinder scale to be 0 0.3, 0 0.6, and 0 0.3 because I like how it looks better. So progress so far, we can move this whole thing around by moving the player anchor around. Undo. And we can move the, rotate the turret by changing the Z value on the cylinder anchor. So add a new script to the cylinder anchor. I'm calling everything in my scripts T with a lowercase t but you don't need to do that. That's just because I'm in a particular uh, project. So T turret rotator or turret rotator, create an add, open it up and let's make it control the turret rotator, the turret itself. Now right here, add this code and then right here, I'm going to try a few things because I don't remember exactly how I did this before. So we're going to find out what works and what doesn't. Here's my first attempt. I added this, the start, and then I created a rotation delta and multiplied it by the speed and a new rotation. Also, I'm going to initialize this to 10.0, 10f. Let's see if that works. Now that didn't work because of this error down here. So let's see what else I can do. Okay, instead of t.rotation.euler angles. I just did t.euler angles and it did seem to compile. Let's see if it works. Up. Interesting. It did something. I probably just got the wrong axis. So switching to the z-axis and now it works. It's a little bit fast and it's inverted but it works. So first invert it and then put the same code down here without the inversion. Okay, I added that code in. And what one reason it won't work at the right speed is because the default was 5 before, so it's already been set in this public variable. So change it to 5. I changed the default to 5 here as well. Let's see if that looks good. Down, up, down, up. That's pretty good. And I tinkered a bit, and I found that this is probably a little bit more direct way to do it. 
and it seems to work exactly the same. I rename cylinders to turrets, like that. And at that point, I'm going to stop this video and go on to the next video where we're going to make it launch a projectile. But thank you for watching this, and I appreciate it. And I want you to be able to watch more videos like this in the future if you're interested. And down in the comments field, please include whatever other videos you want me to record. Like, what other things do you want me to find a tutorial about and make it and show you how to do it? Because I'd love to. So subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and get ready for the next video. And thanks again for watching.